Okay, you're watching the Passion Fruit Walrus, and we're playing the Evil Within 2, which we haven't played before, uh, but we have played the uh, original... Oops. The original game, uh, The Evil Within, and uh, so we're looking forward to see how this goes. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, I think it's the Y-axis. Okay. Right then, so here we go. Uh, just... Yeah, just normal, whatever normal is. Uh, yeah, do it disabled then. Home engulfed in flames. Tragic fire kills child. Nanny. Okay. Oh, right, okay. I was expecting a cutscene or something, but, uh... So... Apparently this is me. This is Sebastian. Okay. Not sure if this is the same guy as last time or not. Okay, let go. Oh god, Lily! Okay. Yeah, dude, I mean, if it's that much on fire, you're probably fucked, really. Damn it! Okay. Lily, I'm here! Where are you? Oh god, is she upstairs? Okay. Well, apparently, I'm not allowed to go that way. Take that as a subtle hint. Okay. How did this happen? Does it really matter right now? I mean, surely the most pressing concern is your daughter or wife or whatever. <coughs> your daughter. I'm and coming, um, Lily. Just hold on. Why is, why hasn't she like jumped out of a window or something? Here, what Lily. the fuck? I'm here. Uh, can I crawl under that? Yep, there we go. He seems to be coping with the uh, the smoke pretty well. Lily, come on out, Lily. Where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Okay, so this is a dream or something then. Someone needs some therapy. Why are those two suspicious guys with dark sunglasses at the bar? I mean, could they look any more suspicious? <laughs> Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Oh, so it is. Years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. 
Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. <laughs> you sound just like that psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. <laughs> sinister guys are sinister. I'm here because of this. <laughs> Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. So where's the bartender while all this shit's going down? And why is he so important? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. <laughs> so powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. <laughs> Been here before. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. Where are you? We you're used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. <laughs> we needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? <laughs> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. <laughs> Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch, an easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity, not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. 
You can save her. Or let her die. It's your choice. Good thing he doesn't just say fuck it and leave. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Yeah, why not? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Stem entry in three, two, one. What I want to know is why the guys that they sent in first were wearing body armor when they're actually not physically in this thing. It's only the mind. So why the body armor? Cool. Reality's on the blink again. Hmm. Oh, that was interesting. I thought the guy at the start was a bit sort of overly sinister. I don't know why he had the extra black stuff around his face, but uh Is this Where am I? Okay. I guess we just run blindly into the dark for a bit. Ah, right, okay. Oh, here we go again. Oh, dude, come on. I know it's hard to accept Lyra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What yeah. the hell is this place? Good question. Detective, we've got a call. At least he is traumatized by the events of the first game, I suppose. That's reasonably realistic, but then... Sort of traumatized anyway by the death or supposed death of his daughter, so I suppose... He's taking it fairly well, I suppose, really. Considering all the excessive stuff. What the... Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? 
If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Well, the, uh, the Mobius staff on the wall, I think, would be a dead giveaway, really. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. It's funny that it's called Yukiko Hoffman. An interesting mix. And I don't see why he's being sort of all butch about finding Lily. I mean, it's not like that she's going to be out of their grip once, um, uh, once he actually saves her. Because she's still part of this machine thing. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Okay. Uh, right, what's written on the computer? Nothing? Okay. So I can look at some more pictures there. There's... No? I just sworn there was something there. My first commendation. It feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. But it wasn't actually, it's just earlier in your life. Okay then, let's keep staring at the same wall. Uh, Yukiko? Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Okay. Okay, top guy. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. All wearing body armor for some reason. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? <laughs> Hopefully he can take care of himself. Wouldn't count on it. Uh, other gun? Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Why should you try to find him? And how are you going to find any of them in any particular order? Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. <laughs> Can't see the thing in the middle, so what else we got? One picture of this Union place? Oh, come on, dude. Look at the thing. There we go. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't <laughs> seem like you've got much control this time, either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's sing anyway, okay? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Dee 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 dee. Can I snoop around someone else's desk? Not 
really? Okie dokie. Oh, there's a bat cat. cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Okay, I can crouch. Can't do anything much yet. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? <laughs> Photographic slide, a relic from pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Well, cool. Guess we'll do that. But... Right. So uh, I think we'll stop there and we'll be back for another part uh, shortly and we'll actually start playing the game properly. So um, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.